So carbon dioxide is transported from the tissues to the lungs in three ways. It's dissolved in the plasma. About 20% is combined with an amino group in the polypeptide chain of hemoglobin to form carbaminohemoglobin. And about 70 to 75% is converted into uh, hydrogen carbonate ions, HCO3 minus. Now, carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. The carbonic acid then dissociates to form hydrogen ions and hydrogen carbonate ions. This process happens slowly in blood plasma. The cytoplasm of red blood cells contain a high amount of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. This enzyme catalyzes the reversible reaction between carbon dioxide and water to form carbonic acid. The carbonic acid then dissociates to form the hydrogen carbonate ions and the hydrogen ions. What happens next is the negatively charged hydrogen carbonate ions move out of the red blood cells into the plasma by diffusion, down a concentration gradient, and then we have negatively charged chloride ions which move into the red blood cell, which maintains the electrical balance of the cell. This is known as the chloride shift. The effect of removing the carbon dioxide and converting it into hydrogen carbonate ions, the, the, the red blood cells maintain a steep concentration gradient for carbon dioxide to diffuse from respiring tissues into the erythrocytes. Now, when blood reaches the lung tissue where there's a low concentration of carbon dioxide, the carbonic anhydrase enzyme catalyzes the reverse reaction, which breaks down the carbonic acid into carbon dioxide and water. Hydrogen carbonate ions then diffuse back into the erythrocytes and react with hydrogen ions to form more carbonic acid. When this is broken down by carbonic anhydrase, it releases free carbon dioxide, which diffuses out of the blood and into the lungs. Chloride ions then diffuse out of the red blood cells back into the plasma down a electrochemical gradient. And that is the transport of carbon dioxide from tissues to the lungs.